Welcome to Heat Engineer. This is a demo showing you a completed room by room site survey which will be used for a heat loss calculation. So I have selected um, a predefined room name. Um, here is bedroom four, but there's already a predefined like list you can you can use. Um, you can type in custom room names if you like. I've typed in the room dimensions, the building materials, um, once those parameters are all completed and of course taking photographs of on site, um, you'll be able to send them to your account or actually even someone else's account that's, that someone may have invited you as a surveyor. Um, so you can select from a drop down list of companies. Um, so once you've completed your site survey, you'll be able to select the name uh, and send it. Um, you can easily access surveys in the history as well um, if you want to revisit them. Here. Once the site survey has been sent to the online dashboard, whether it's your own dashboard, if you've got, say, a sole trader account or a small media enterprise, you'll be able to access your dashboard having logged onto the website uh, and see the surveys which are submitted. So this is the survey, uh, one of the surveys that's submitted here. I'm going. There's nine steps to go through. So here, I'm just showing you the um, predefined uh, regions within the UK, but we do allow custom there as well. So in fact, actually, you can use it worldwide. Um, so that's custom external temperature, custom degree day data as well for the weather ca for um, energy calculations. Just showing you um, also the, the photographs um, which you can view. Going on to step three, here um, all of this information has been brought in from the room by room site survey. And uh, we can review that information as well as the photos which have been submitted. And bearing in mind on the Android and also on the um, Apple phones, you'll be able to draw on arrows when you're on site and also mark up as well. So we're here, we're just reviewing that information as well as any notes that have been added. We can review the photographs as a whole as well. So some rooms haven't got photographs, that's absolutely fine. And later on, you'll find that you'll be able to select which photos you'd like to submit to the client so they can actually see. If there are any custom room names there, they will highlight yellow and it will ask you to define a room temperature as well for it. So it's a custom room temp. Any rooms with vaulted ceilings, this data comes in from the site survey. So it allows you to type in these, this information, dimensions and wall types within the app itself. Within this survey, we haven't got any, but I just wanted to sort of show you that on step um, on step five. Step six, it's a really good information uh, tool here. What we're doing is, is informing you that um, this party wall has not been entered for a you know for a building material. So I've clicked the orange cell and I've just um, selected it from a predefined building material list. You can at any step um, also work out a U value as well for a custom defined building material and then add that in there. But most of this information in this case has been typed in via the site survey within the app. On step nine we're just reviewing the heat loss results. So we can still hear, you can see here that um, we've got an output of 5.28 kilowatts. We've got the watts per meter squared. We can see the worst performing room in this case is a, is a toilet number one. Um, and down at the bottom, we can see the overall results of um, the U values and temperatures that have been used as well. So it's just like reviewing that information there. So as well as step nine, we need to select the heat source. So in this case, we've selected an oil boiler. Um, and just to be impartial, um, I'm just going to select a, a manufacturer um, to be confirmed and also a model. But this is a predefined list of, of manufacturers that we have. Again, for heat pumps, um, any oil boilers, any heat source at all you like. Um, we do have a, a premium subscription for manufacturers and merchants um, and also um, MCS um, umbrella scheme companies as well, which you'll be able to see in that list. Just selecting the typical flow temperature, and I'm going to show you in a minute how easy it is to sort of go in and out of uh, and actually change that as well. Once we're happy with that, we um, go into the optional pages, and within here, um, there's lots of flexibility. So we can design our new radiator so we can specify them at the uh, at a given flow temperature in delta T. 
Um, the software will actually inform you if the current radiator is not um, adequate. So in this case, the cell is highlighted red and we can select from the drop down just to experiment with different radiators until that cell turns green. And there we go, we're happy with that K2 radiator to match the, the heating demand for that particular room. So it does show you current radiators, but uh, and also it allows you to um, input the new radiators. Domestic hot water, so this does the energy calculation. We are um, shortly releasing uh, cylinder sizing as well. So uh, in this case, this is just to calculate the energy requirement for hot water, but in the near future, we will have a cylinder sizing um, feature we'll tell you the, um, the recovery and also um, the, the power required for it, for the hot water usage. Here, just demonstrating the photos uh, being reviewed, um, and you can select, pick and choose which photos you want to include in, report, in the report. So again, some clients might not necessarily want to see um, technical information, say within a plant room, so you don't have to include that within in the report. Summary results, so excellent the temperature, the heat loss, just happy with that, so that's all good. And we're back to the dashboard. And within, if we want to revisit it again, um, since we can be marked it's completed, it's now in the completed reports area. This is where you can download the report and email it to a, a client. We will soon have a hyperlink where you'll be able to share that hyperlink via an email too. Just showing you also the feature we have for our digital supply chain where you can send the survey to a manufacturer or merchant that are part of our premium um, subscription.